For mothers who want a manual breast pump, Amita offers a pump with an award-winning design. The one-hand breast pump handle assembly may be included with your pump kit or it may be purchased separately. The one-hand breast pump attaches easily to your Hygiena kit and allows you to achieve multi-phase pumping by simply squeezing its handle. Before you pump, wash your hands well with soap and water. If your pump is marked sterile, you may open and use it right away. If your pump is not marked sterile, boil all of its parts for 20 minutes to sanitize them. Then, let them air dry. To assemble the one-hand breast pump, first fit the piston seal onto the base of the piston. Push the center of the handle down and snap the top of the piston into the groove on the handle. Push the piston into the upper chamber of the breast flange. Pull the handle down and snap the collar around the groove of the breast flange. Gently push the white valve firmly into place onto the ring on the underside of the breast flange. Screw the flange onto the bottle. The handle assembly is attached correctly if the top of the handle is a straight line. The pump can be used with either hand. To begin pumping, grasp the handle with your thumb in front and fingers behind the upper chamber of the breast flange. Place your hand as high as you can on the pump handle with one side of the handle in the groove between your thumb and forefinger. Swivel the handle for wrist comfort. Center your nipple in the breast flange and hold the flange to your breast to make an air seal. Tilt the flange slightly downward so milk flows into the bottle. With the one hand breast pump, you can control pump suction and pump speed just by squeezing the handle. The harder you squeeze, the stronger its suction. The faster you squeeze, the greater its speed. Begin pumping with a few minutes of fast, gentle squeezes. This may help trigger the letdown reflex or milk release just as your baby does at the start of a breastfeeding. You can also encourage milk release with a warm compress or by massaging your breast with your free hand either before or during pumping. When your milk begins to flow, use slower, stronger squeezes, never squeezing harder than feels comfortable. With the one hand breast pump, you can use fast, gentle squeezes to trigger milk release and slow, stronger squeezes to drain the milk faster. This multi-phase pumping mimics a baby at the breast. You can also try the squeeze, hold, and release technique, which may make manual pumping easier. After the faster, gentle squeezes trigger milk release, squeeze the pump handle. Then hold it as your milk flows into the collection bottle. Continue to squeeze and hold while the pump automatically releases suction until you need to stimulate another milk release. Gentle, fast squeezes will once again trigger a milk release. With the one hand breast pump, each pumping session should take about 20 to 30 minutes. And it's a good idea to switch breasts about every five to seven minutes. When you have finished pumping, simply remove the pump from your breast. Unscrew the collection bottle and screw the locking caps into place. Follow the milk storage guidelines you were given. To clean the one-hand breast pump, take it completely apart. First, remove the white valve carefully by pulling it off by its thick sides, not the flat edge. Next, detach the handle from the breast flange. Then, gently pull the piston out of the upper chamber of the flange. Flex the center of the handle and the piston will detach easily. Finally, remove the piston seal. Rinse all parts of the system in cool water. 
Then wash them in warm, soapy water. Rinse them well and let them air dry.